Hello, in this video I'm going to discuss the reactions of amides. And if you've been watching along on my video series of the, the, on the carboxylic acid derivatives, there's not going to be a lot here. Um, because amides pretty much only do one thing, uh, well, well, two, two, a couple of things uh, that are worth talking about here. Uh, one is hydrolysis. I don't want to move my amide and I'm going to use acetamide. Amides undergo hydrolysis like all of the other carboxylic acid functional or derivatives. Um, they can undergo hydrolysis under acidic conditions using water and an acid. Uh, and this works for all kinds of amides and this will get uh, the ammonium cation, they undergo hydrolysis in, in aqueous base. Uh, to, so let's, let's, let's do an alkaline, let's do ethyl, amide, ethyl acetamide. Um, so, so, you know, initially, if we heat them up in the presence of, of sodium hydroxide, then we get the amine and, and the carboxylate anion, which after we neutralize with water and acid, we get the carboxylic acid and the ammonium salt. There we go. All right. Uh, so these undergo a hydrolysis by the, the sort of respective mechanisms. This is the acidic nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism, and this one is the basic the like acyl substitution mechanism. Like esters, uh, amides don't react with water by themselves, which is pretty good because all of the proteins in our body are held together by amides. This is basically it, except for the conversion to nitriles. Primary amides, those, that is, those that... Uh, have two NH bonds can be converted into nitriles by a variety of dehydrating agents like thionyl chloride or uh, other kinds of, of dehydrating agents. Uh, but I'm just going to do thionyl chloride. And this is a variation of no, this is or, uh, this is. I was going to say something that was, that was wrong. So here we go. And then, like all of the uh, other kinds of things, that this generates SO two and two hydrogen chlorides. Not twenty one hydrogen chlorides. Two hydrogen chlorides. So. Uh, here we go. Note that this reaction does not work on uh, when there's an alkyl group here because the mechanism involves removing both of these hydrogens. Uh, and so interesting things can, can happen, but we don't get the nitrile out of it. Right? Uh, the mechanism here is pretty neat. Uh, we'll just talk about it really quickly. It's it, it, it is and it isn't a nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. Um, so first off, it's the, the, the carbonyl oxygen of the amide is nucleophilic. And just like it's the carbonyl oxygen of all of the functional, these functional groups is nucleophilic. And we get... Uh, so we get initially oxygen here, sulfur, oxygen, chlorine, no, chlorine, nitrogen, and our nitrogen here has an extra hydrogen on it uh, because it still has that. And, and this thing's pretty acidic, so even though we wouldn't normally consider chloride anion to be a reasonable base, 
uh, for the sake of, of neatness, I'm going to just use it. Now we've got this lovely intermediate, and I actually think that this particular intermediate uh, undergoes decomposition by a cyclic mechanism. Uh, it certainly looks predisposed to something of that nature, where you know the chlorine is going to end up with the hydrogen. The nitrogen-hydrogen bond is going to shift in to make the new the, the the third bond between carbon and nitrogen, and the carbon-oxygen bond is going to become. Uh, carbon and sulfur or oxygen sulfur bond and then you get all of the things that come out of this carbon label uh, sulfur, sulfur dioxide which uh, you might suspect is linear but isn't and um, hydrogen chloride so, there we go and we have a, a hydrogen chloride here as well so uh, these are the reactions of amides. There are other things that amides can do, some interesting rearrangements and, and degradations and, and conversions to things. Um, but as far as the interconversions between carboxylic acid derivatives, they can be hydrolyzed to carboxylic acids or they can be converted into nitriles. Okay. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the synthesis of nitriles, which uh, is, should look pretty similar because I'm just going to go over this particular reaction again. Uh, and then I'll finish up uh, probably in the same video, just talk about the reactions of nitriles, which are in this context, hydrolysis.